Hello everyone, today I'm here to do an unboxing. I actually have three unboxings this month, so this is the first of three. There may be four actually, I'm not sure, we'll figure out, but there are three for sure that I'm about to film right now that I'll space out in between next week. The first one I want to share with you today is Owlcrate. If you didn't know, Owlcrate is a monthly YA book box. It comes with a new released hardback YA book that usually has a book plate or is signed by the author and has three to five coinciding things that go with the theme of each box. This month's theme I want to say is Twisted Fairy Tales. I'm not sure. I know it's kind of fairy tale esque I'll let you know when I get into the card, but I do have a coupon code for you. If it is your first time with Alcrate, you can use the code BOOKABLES10 to get 10% off, or it might be BOOKABLES. I'm all over the place today. My little sticks look not looking great. My lighting's not the best. We're just gonna roll with the punches. So I love Alcrate. I see it time and time again. It's one of my favorite book boxes of all time. I will leave all their links down below, and like I said, if you're interested in the coupon code it'll be right here as well as down below for you to use because it's always good to save money so yeah let's dive in I think I have a feeling of what the book is and I think I've already read the book so that'll be fun stuff oh, the first thing you're getting as always is a card this month is like a owl crate statue and it's got kind of like burrowing themes of like like different tunnels and things like that. Oh, this month's theme is Hidden Worlds. I was totally wrong about the fairy tales. Whoops, but it's Hidden Worlds. That is the title of this box. All the spoilers will be on the back, so I'll be referring to that, but that is the card. Um, the first thing I see is this little pouch right here that has Alcrate on it, which I'm gonna guess is an Alcrate exclusive. And what's in it is a necklace, it looks like. I'm a big fan of key necklaces. I own about five of them. <laughs> Love them. <laughs> This one it looks like it's like a button key necklace and it's black and I love how it's a very long chain. That's how I like my key necklaces nice and long. That is actually really pretty. I think that's nice. This is beautiful. I'm a big fan of keys. I don't know what it is about the button. So this is, oh, it's a skeleton key pendant necklace to unlock doorways to other worlds inspired by the key used in the story Coraline, which I did read actually. And oh, whoops, I was not a big fan of Coraline. I read the graphic novel. I don't know if the novel's much better, but either way, this is a pretty um, necklace and I will use this. I love how long it is. Like that's that's my perfect length. I just have a big neck, so I don't like anything that like exposes that. <laughs> when a longer necklace, the better. The next thing I see is a candle and this is from Books on Candles, I like that name, and it's Through the Wardrobe. I'm guessing this is like a Narnia candle, obviously Hidden Worlds, and it's um, an Alcrate exclusive. It's handcrafted, and it's a soy candle. I don't know, let's see what it smells like. Oh, I'm, not a, I'm not a fan of this. It is very strong. I'm not a fan of super strong scents. It smells very florally. No, let me take that back. It smells very, it almost has like a, a tree scent to it if that makes sense it smells like a forest a really really strong forest so i'm not a fan of this candle i will probably gift it i gift a lot of my candles like i said this is from um books on candles and it smells just like a forest in winter well i was dead on about the forest was i right I'm just, it's too strong for my life. I see a sticker and it's an Alice in Wonderland sticker and it's adorable. I'm definitely gonna put this on my planner. That's where all my stickers go. This is from um, Naomi Lord. Obviously this is from, you know, Alice in Wonderland, another hidden world. I love that and it's great. I love stickers. Um, then we have, we have two really big items. I'm gonna save those for last. Then we have a pen we get with each month. Month is a close up of the postcard. So that's, there's that. This is a zipper pouch, which I wish I would have had this like earlier this month because I went on a trip and I used like tons of pouches to pack things in. Oh, I love the, oh, this is kind of, this is not fabric either, like cloth. You can hear it. It's, I don't know what the, but it's perfect for like traveling if you get messy. This says, we dream together. We dream together of the world remade. This is beautiful. It's on both sides. This is from, oh, this is an Alcrate exclusive. I like that. Usually if it's like from out of print, it's right there. But either way, this is a pretty generous size. I think my favorite part of this is the design, yes, but how the fact of like it's, is rubbery the right word? I don't know, but it's not cloth or like texture, so it does, it's not going to get super dirty if it stays in your purse, which I don't know why, I'm not going to lie to you, like I put these in my purse all the time because I store like my son's snack foods and like cars and stuff like that for like when we're just out and about and it gets beat up and it gets dirty, so this is going to be perfect to put in my bag now so it won't get as beat up. I Inspired by Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor and illustrated by Risa Rodell, which I've seen a lot of her illustrations before. They're beautiful. The last item we got is this huge thing right here. I have, this was like, I'm kind of hoping it's a blanket. I'm not going to lie. It's a very thin blanket, but whatever. Gosh, how big is this thing? 
<sighs> this is, I'm not going to do this justice at all on camera. Oh, here we go. Let's just read it together. Books fall open. Fall open. You fall in. Is that what it says? Yes. Oh, wow. You know, this might be a wall tapestry. Just to give you a reference of how big this is. I'm standing up. If I put this to my head, it goes to my feet, just so you know. And I am 5'3", for reference there of how tall it is. This is a wall tapestry designed by Evie Bookish, and this looks honestly like the cover of The Love Let's Split the World by Emily Henry, or like kind of Alice in Wonderland. Um, but either way, this is really pretty. I have nowhere when I say nowhere, I mean nowhere to put this. So I think this is gonna benefit a lot of people. For me, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Right, this is really pretty. I think this is great. You can also use it as a blanket if you want to, which I might, but um, I can't personally use this because I live in such a small house and I have nowhere to put anything ever. Um, but I think this is beautifully made, very different. I've never seen them put a wall tapestry in a book box before, but this is beautiful. I think this is really pretty. I love the design. So the book this month is exactly what I thought it was going to be, and that is The Hazelwood by Alyssa Albert. This is an exclusive cover, which is exciting. Um, I have already read this book. I actually have a video review up for it. I'll leave it right here if you want to see my thoughts and opinions on it. I enjoyed it. Not as much as I thought I would, but I still enjoyed it nonetheless. The cover is the exact same thing, only it's not green. It's just straight up black. Um, I would show you, but I just actually gave away my arc. I had an arc of it, and it looked just like this. I don't mind the green cover. I don't, I don't know if I like it more than the black one. I feel like the gold popped out a little bit more with the original black cover, but I don't have a lot of book covers that are like hunter green like this, which I enjoy this color a lot. Hunter green, jade green, I don't know. I'm not good on the spectrum, but either way, I think it's pretty. I don't think it's an ugly cover by any means, but I think I might like the cover. I think I might like the original cover just a little bit better, but I enjoy that it's green like this. Like I said, I don't have barely any green books. Let's just take stock. This one right here is kind of green. And that's like, that's it. I have another one. But overwhelmingly, it's like a lot of black. Like I have so many black covers and spines. So this is kind of a breath of fresh air. I really enjoy it. And I think, oh, look at the end pages. That's beautiful. And let's look at the... I never, for, I always forget to look at the naked hardback. The end pages are beautiful though. I don't see a lot of beautiful end pages like that. I think this one might be signed. Let's take a, yes, they have like a little page, a lot like uppercase does with their um things. So they put a page in there and they're signed right there. Also came with a whole sheet of stickers, which I really enjoy. Again, I'm gonna use this in my planner. You're getting a letter from the author herself and then you're getting the book. So the book basically is about this girl named Alice who is on the like travel with her mom. Her and her mom go from place to place and never settle down on one particular place because they feel like bad luck follows them wherever they go. Then they receive word that Alice's grandmother has died in her estate called the Hazelwood and Alice's grandmother was like a really acclaimed author. She wrote this really grim type of book called The Tales of the Hinterland and it had like six short stories in it that just think of the Brothers Grimm type of tales. And one day as Alice's mother gets kidnapped by someone who claims to be from the Hinterland where her grandmother's stories reside. So basically Alice teams up with another guy and they go on the search to try to find her mom. Like I said I have an own video review for you if you want to hear my thoughts on it. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a delicious dark tale. I think the ending I wasn't a huge fan of, but I did enjoy it and ultimately I would recommend it. It wasn't one of my favorites, but I'd say if you're looking for like kind of twisty, creepy fairy tales, I would recommend it. Um, you're also getting a little pamphlet. They do this each month now with just talking about the theme. They do an interview with the author. Like I said, there's the original cover right there and then there's the green. Uh, and then they also do an interview with at least Bri Risa Rodil and also tells you like the Hazelwood try these reads um things like that it's just a really cute like little book you get to see each month talking about Alcrate and then we have the card for next month so this month's theme is across the galaxy and for a sneak peek you're gonna get a candle from Wick and Fable that'll be interesting um Alcrate is really like detailed when it comes to like each month's box like telling you what the book's gonna be like you can kind of summarize and guess what you think it is and 
I think I'm pretty sure I know what the book is for next month and I am so pumped. Either way, that was the box. I'm gonna go through each item to enjoy doing that, so I'm not gonna exclude the book at all. I do really enjoy this book. Like I said, I just, I did have an arc of it and I did a giveaway for it because I kinda knew this was gonna be my crate, so I'm like, oh, I can give away the arc finally. So yay, I do that a lot. If I have duplicates of books and things like that, I've been doing a lot of giveaways. I've been doing a lot of giveaways on my Instagram recently, so please always check my Instagram bookables. I'm doing a ton of giveaways this year and I want to continue doing that so check it out. Um, yeah moving on. Least favorite thing I'm gonna say is candle. I'm not a fan of the scent and I feel like every book box out there does a ton of candles which is not bad at all because I do use them but I feel like I don't enjoy the scents overall in a lot of them. That's just that's personal preference. Next up, I'm gonna go with the sticker. I do really enjoy the sticker and I will use it and then I'm gonna go with the necklace. I do enjoy the necklace but like I said I have like five key necklaces. Mm, I don't know. I feel like there's a tie between the pouch and the wall tapestry. And I know it's like, why is a tie? It's a pouch. I mean, I always love this pouch personally because like I said, of the, like the rubbery, I don't know what the, the whatever it is, man, but I like it. But the wall tapestry is very unique, which is why I think I like it ultimately the best. I mean, like there, I have not seen this in Alfred at all. And I really think this is going to be great. I think a lot of people are going to put it on their walls. I think that's awesome. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to see a whole bunch of pictures of people putting it on their wall. For me, I'm just going to have to fold it up and save it for another time. Maybe when we get a new house, I can put it in there. I like it overall though. There you have it. There is the February Owl Crate. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the box. Um, there's, I I love Owl Crate. I think they're a great company. I, like I said, if you want to check out Owl Crate, I'll leave all their links down below. And don't forget to use my coupon code to save money. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.